another fearless broadcaster joining us by phone. Good morning, Wayne Cox. And good morning to you. Can you give us a Fred Latrimo's story or two? Oh, there, there are so many Freddie stories. Um, I, I think, you know, your piece there covered uh, things that uh, pop to mind immediately when I think of Fred, and that's being the master uh, communicator. He, he really was something special. Uh, uh, to get people to call into your radio show at the very best of times is a difficult thing, but Fred never uh, solicited phone calls. People would just always call all day. I think it was just the way that he... Uh, he had of communicating. So you say that because it, we all feel like we knew him so well. Well, that's it. Yeah, he and he and Kathy uh, got along on the air so well and off the air. I mean, everybody has their moments, and Fred was uh, a rascal, and and Kathy was a saint. So you know, there was that. But they they communicated very well, and I think that spilled over to the the listening audience and. Uh, he just, uh, he, he had that gift, and uh, not many people have it. He's truly a one-of-a-kind, and, of course, he, you know, he was in radio and television and uh, advertising. He was brilliant in that, too, and uh, he'll, be, uh, he'll, be, he'll be missed, and it was a very sad day yesterday.